Shalom, and it's so good to come alongside with you to another week of learning God's Word together as we meditate, as we look deep, dive deep into God's Word. We pray that uh, as we meditate God's Word together, we can apply each of these truths that we share. For this week ahead, we're going to be looking at some stories some stories and examples of ob obedience that's written in Scripture. To just have an understanding about obedience, we see that obedience is a central theme that spans from, from Genesis right down to Revelation. And it is an essential aspect of our relationship with God. Obedience refers to a commitment to follow God and His commandments. It is rooted in a deep faith and a love for God. And it drives us as believers to take actions or take stands that might be a different or maybe extreme in standards in society. The Bible is filled with stories of individuals who demonstrated obedience. And through this week, we're going to be looking at these examples. So for today's devotion, we're going to focus on Noah and learn from the obedience that he showed, the obedience from his walk of intimacy with God. Noah was a man who was a just man, and Scripture speaks about him in Genesis 6, 9. It writes, Noah was a just man, perfect in his generations. Noah walked with God. When God saw the wickedness of man and that every intent of his thoughts were evil, he, God decides to bring about a flood. But there is Noah who finds favor with God. And God warns him of that flood. God gives him a warning of that impending flood. And that's when he makes a covenant with Noah, promising to save Noah and his family. We, re we just read that Noah is described as a just man. He was blameless and he walked with God. Noah was a man who took his walk with God very seriously, and he did what God commanded him to do, which was to build an ark, and that too even years before it started raining. We see through the account of that story that Noah obeyed even without a precedent. In Hebrews, we read an account of Noah. It says, By faith, Noah was divinely warned of things, not yet seen. Now, despite this unprecedented nature of God's warning about the flood, and even though there was no physical evidence of rain, it, we read that Noah moved into obedient action by actually building the ark according to God's instruction. We also read that Noah obeyed everything that God had commanded. Noah paid attention to every detail and executed them precisely. What do we apply from Noah's life? That sometimes we may be required to take actions that sometimes may not make sense or not have common understanding. But like Noah, we need to completely and thoroughly obey God and not choose and pick what suits us, but to holistically and completely do what God has instructed. Through Noah's journey of obedience, we also know that, uh, that his faith and patience was tested. And obedience requires that we persevere and endure when challenges arise. So just like Noah, who obeyed God because of his intimacy with God, let's also come to a place of obeying God as a result of our relationship with him. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, as we have learned from Noah, 
about the way he walked with you, blameless in your sight, doing all that you commanded. Father, may we walk that path of obedience. May we grow in our relationship with you and out of that relationship, out of that intimacy, do as you want us to do. Thank you for hearing our prayer. In Jesus' name, Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.